Welcome to my kitchen. This is my kitchen. This is me. And this is something that you will never ever hear me ever say, ever. You'll never hear anybody say it. You know what this is? Leftover donuts. Okay, let's just get one thing straight. The term leftover donuts doesn't describe anything because there's never leftover donuts. But in the off chance that for some ridiculous reason, all the donuts didn't get eaten, I want to show you what you can do with the donuts because donuts go stale pretty quickly. And it's really sad seeing a donut in the trash. It's really sad. These are leftover donuts. And with them, we are going to make a leftover donut bread pudding. It's going to be really fun. It's really nice because it's a really simple exercise. Uh, it's a simple recipe to do. And, you know, we're, we're basically using a bunch of scraps, you know, a bunch of stuff. And this works with all kinds of different things. You can make this recipe with like cake scraps. You can make this with the old bread in the house. Bread pudding, you know, look, I know Alex Gernichelli hates bread pudding and everybody on Chopped hates bread pudding because they're like, that's just lazy and da da da. Whatever, man. Bread pudding is awesome. Bread pudding is awesome. It's a really simple custard. Uh, it's pretty hard to mess up and it's super delicious. It's super good. This is a fun recipe to do with, to do with kids because you're like taking this old sort of stale thing and making something awesome out of it. I think kids really get excited about it. This recipe, by the way, is in my new book, Super Good Baking for Kids. And there's a lot of really fun recipes in there and this is definitely one of them. Now, before you get started, you have some homework. One thing you gotta do is prep your pan. So this is my baking dish. And what I've done is sprayed it and cut a piece of parchment and stuck it in there. Uh, next thing you got to do is pull out some butter and get it to room temperature. You need the butter really soft for this. Okay, next, um, you got to take all the leftover donuts and cut them up and then let them go even more stale overnight. You want to get all the moisture out of the donuts. So when you add the custard, the custard has somewhere to go. The donut is dry, so it's going to suck up all that good custard. Now, if you don't have time to leave it out overnight, um, just uh, cut up the donuts and put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And that'll just kind of dry them out. Uh, you don't want to toast them yet. Um, the other thing you got to do is preheat the oven. You know, once these are ready to go, it's time to go. You know, you ain't got time to be messing around. You got bread pudding to make. I have like, like plain sort of vanilla cheap cake donuts. You know, I, I personally, I think this recipe works better with cake donuts uh, just because they're a little more firm. If you use like a nice, soft, like yeasty donut, like a Krispy Kreme, delicious donuts. I love them, but there's a lot of air. And so these, those things tend to kind of break up a lot more. Um, the, the cake donuts, especially kind of the cheap ones, they tend to kind of hold their shape a little bit more. And if there's going to be leftover donuts chances are they're going to be like the kind that aren't that good. Now the best donuts, the best cake donuts in the world are at 7-Eleven. The, uh, the, the chocolate cake donut and the blueberry cake donut at 7-Eleven, if you can get there early enough to get them, because you know, you got to get them because they're going to go. Uh, those are the best cake donuts in the world. Okay, so let's do it. All right, all right. So here are my donut chunks. These I am going to put into the pan, just like this. Get them in, you know, get all those little crumbs in there too, that's fine. You know, just kind of fill it out. Okay, then just give it a little shake, just make sure you're kind of nice and even. All right, that looks good. Okay, now, Let's make custard. Custard is basically any combination of eggs and sugar. So creme brulee, custard. 
flan custard ice cream custard if it's like you know an egg ice cream creme anglaise that like creamy vanilla sauce that you get at restaurants from the 90s custard all right so that was vanilla i just put in there milk this is salt always salt always my great grandmother would go crazy. Always salt. You have to put salt in everything. If you're making a cake, you put salt. If you're making ice cream, you put salt. Everything has to have some salt or it just doesn't taste round. You can't just have sugar. Now what I'm going to do is just mix this up so the sugar kind of gets in there. And I'll do the eggs. So you put the eggs in, and then I like to pop the yolks, just like that, okay, and then just stir this up till it's nice and yellow and clean. Try not to whip too much air into it, I mean, you're not really going to, but if there's too much air in your custard, when you bake it, it'll tend to scramble a little bit. You kind of want this stuff to stay, uh, you know, pretty thick. Okay, you just sort of whisk this up until all the sugar dissolves and you can feel it. And, you know, make sure you get all these, the egg, you know, the egg white is all sort of in there. And then if you want, you can just let this sit for a minute. And what'll happen is, the sugar and the salt that's in here will actually start to break down the egg and then give it a stir after a couple of minutes and you'll see it'll just come right together. All right, so let's see. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. All right, so now let's, we're gonna dump the custard mixture on our donuts and kind of get it everywhere. And get all this, this all out. Okay, and then just sort of like press down a little bit and make sure that all these dry pieces get some custard and kind of suck it up. And don't worry, you're still gonna get the, the crispy bits. You just wanna make sure that everything has a little bit of custard. All right, so I'm just gonna take this towel and cover the bread pudding. I'm gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes. So right now, press pause, and I'll see you back here in 10 minutes. All right, everybody have a nice nap? I think your bread pudding did. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now it's like, all nice and soaked up there. You still want to be able to move. You still want some liquid in there. Okay, now, before we put it in the oven, we're gonna make a little yummy thing. I'm gonna take some the soft butter and brown sugar. And I don't know if it's in your recipe, but put a pinch of salt. All right, and then, just gonna mash this all together and we're gonna make this like sugar salt butter thing. A little mush. It's really nice. You can really smell the brown sugar, you know, when it when it gets into the butter. I could eat this like cereal. Yeah, this looks good. I just kind of mash it all in. There we go. Yeah, looking good. Okay, now you got this little butter sugar mashy thing. So just grab kind of like a chunk of it like this 
and just like drop little pieces of it everywhere. Mmm. This is fun. This is fun like to do with kids because it's like kind of mushy and it's like a little weird that you're like, oh, it's going to melt in my hands. You got to kind of move fast. <laughs> And that brown sugar gives a really nice flavor. You know, it's a lot more complex than just regular sugar. Now, if, you're, uh, if your butter mixture is too soft, uh, you can add a little bit more brown sugar to it. Uh, also, you can stick it in the fridge for a little bit and it'll firm up and it'll be a little easier to manage. All right, so just, you know, little chunks. Try to get it nice and even. There we go. Okay. A little more. Just wherever you got some space. I mean, this will melt and go everywhere, but you want to get it nice and even. All right, you are ready to go in the oven. Bake for 35 to 45 minutes and I will meet you back here when everything's done. Mmm, look at all the crispy bits. So you see like where the, where the brown sugar like melted and makes like this little like crispy stuff on top. It looks really good. So just gonna cut it like this. And cut it off of the edge. Mmm. you get the paper out yeah that looks really good you can see kind of where that brown sugar sort of melted in there there it is Ooh, hold on if you're gonna have bread pudding you should probably put ice cream on it now you want to be a superhero Take this bread pudding and, and uh, put it in the oven, put it back in the oven and heat it up a little bit. Yeah, bread pudding loves ice cream. There we go. All right, let's see how this came out. Mmm. Oh, big bread. Mmm. Mmm. It's super creamy. So the donuts are really nice. I mean, they really like suck up all that custard. When you bite into it, it's just like so creamy and like, it's like pudding kind of. And what's great here is that you can use any kind of donut you want. You know, like, you know, go and if you want to do as a cinnamon donut, Old fashioned donut, you know, really anything works here. Um, I think the old fashions would be really good because they have so much texture, it's gonna really make this interesting. Also, if you want to add some nuts to this, you can totally put some walnuts or pecans or almonds or anything. Um, if you wanna add chocolate chips, you can throw that in there. You can also add uh, like dried fruits, you know, raisins, you know, craisins, you know, any kind of dried fruit, dried blueberries would be delicious in here too. The thing I love about this too, it's, it's delicious warm, it's also delicious room temperature, and it's also delicious cold. Um, it's really good with ice cream though. I think, uh, you know, definitely don't be shy to serve this with ice cream. You know, like bread pudding should be a la mode. You know, it really just makes it a lot more interesting, especially when the bread pudding is served warm. You know, when you get a warm item with ice cream on top, it's super good. Uh, speaking of super good, this is in my new book, Super Good Baking for Kids. Uh, this is a really fun recipe, really easy to do. And yeah, I hope you dig it. 